Welcome to Ravens Over. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to build my family. Also, you can email me at ravenover at yahoo.com and I'll contact you back. Anyway, subscribe to my channel. And here's the video. Hey! That's what's up? What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you been? How you been? How you been? What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting in front of you. What's going on, people? Okay, I'm doing this video for all you people who have green dot prepaid cards consumed founder founded it was founded back in 1999 green dot corporation created the prepaid debit card industry and its largest provider in reloadable prepaid debit cards and cash reload processing service in the United States affairs a credible brand now the reason why I'm doing this video is because I was sent the link in reference to a guy that was complaining about Green Dot and they were stating that they're not putting the money on the cards allegedly. So I wanted to do some research and stuff and see if this is really true. So I logged into um, their um, review and stuff and this is Green Palmsdale, California. I mistakenly thought that Green Dot cards were gift cards, but the recipients informed me that the cards were refundable debit cards and substantially monthly fees after requesting refunds for $200 cards and fully comply with Green Dot website directly to refund requests. I waited for the refund, but none came. The company representative said that I had been notified by mail of the free fund denied, but I have not received a letter. Now, this is being reported back in March the 3rd, 2018, which is this month. And we're only in the, what's this date? This is the 9th. So, this is just being reported. And basically, it looks like some type of system that says, we tried to avoid the stuff of delivery tips. Send me advice. Okay. Here's another one. It says Kim of India. Um, Kim. I'm not going to get their names. Of MD. Um, on February 27th, 2018, if I noticed that there was a multiple um, fragmental transactions made on my account. They appear to have been made back to back. All out of the out of US there has been seven different transactions totaling totaling one thousand three hundred and forty dollars and seventy eight cents. I immediate contact Go Bank to report the fraud and was told by several different reps that I couldn't submit a dispute at the time because they were still in a pending status. With additional, I was told that there was no investigation could be started until all items had been posted. Okay. Now, this is another person. We're in the third person. This is from Wyoming. Okay. This is on March the 2nd, 2018. Same month. This month. My tax return was supposed to be deposited into Green Dot prepaid card, which should have been to me in 10 business days. That was February 11th, still no card. I called all the numbers, which take me to an automatic system that does not recognize my information and hangs up on me my refund deposit into my account that I cannot get a hold of, nor can I contact a real person to have them send me a new card. My refund has been deposited in this account that I have no absolute, no access since February 22nd. And I've been reporting this company to the Better Business Bureau and they have no reason they shouldn't have a customer service phone number to deal with the situation like the besides the uh, automatic system that hangs up on me i am just disgusted with this company completely never again will i do such business with them and i will see it see to it that nobody i know does it either 
Now that's been reported back on March the 2nd, 2018. Then it's got some type of, uh, I guess, automatic thing. It was a pleasure speaking to you the early today. We're glad that we're able to resolve the concern that you shared. Um, the values of our customer, Green Dot. Okay. Now, this is all, I'm just saying allegedly, but these are all complaints and stuff. And since um, another person said on March 2nd, 2018, first of all, I could have received my income tax direct deposit without any of these fees. The limit pre k has given you. Second, TurboTax said that the tax, the um, cash advance cards will be issued, I mean, received at three to five days once you refill the green card application, read five to ten days. Very misleading. And the third, I receive emails right away saying we are approved and our cards are being mailed out. They get you excited that they might actually get your money early because, well, let's face it, it's almost never takes more than a week to receive something that's been mailed in the U.S. unless it's a busy holiday. So, it says view more. I will never ever use Green Dot for any advanced pre credit card ever again. My husband is is a vacant vacancy, and I did it because I thought we would get it early yet. Well, I didn't, it didn't happen. It was total waste of time to try to get my refund earlier through Green Dot. Don't do it. It takes the same as a direct deposit or I'll probably do the same. Paper check. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Now, here's another person. My husband tried to reload the money pack number onto his card. He must have tried many times and it's been it has been a message saying he exceeded his limit today now we have no way to call anyone have no idea when the roll over time is it's just been awful please i hope someone reaches out to us fast and that was reported back in 2000 march the 2nd 2018 Someone from Green Dot says, thank you for bringing this to our attention. We'd like to someone to be back to your account to discuss. We will, we will be in touch within the number provided. And everyone that I'm speaking of is saying one dot, like one review. The, the reviews is just, they're not happy. Um, it's like an automatic response, allegedly. I'm assuming that's what it's allegedly. That is a response back. I don't know if these are persons. This is a, our moderator reads in reviews to verify quality and helpfulness as far as consumer affairs. March the 1st, have had a Walmart card for a year. No issues, no problems until two weeks ago. My card was blocked for no reason. With $500 on it, I called and they told me it was flagged for fraud and I had to send them an ID, a picture ID. I do this and it takes 24 hours for them to unblock my card. Two weeks later, I got to use my card and it is declined. It was a balance of $451 on it. I call customer service only to find out that I cannot talk to an actual person anymore because they closed my card. So now I am broke with no one to reach to resolve this issue. And that's being reported as of March the 1st, 2018. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do all of these because it seems like it is a lot of them up here. A lot of them. So my suggestion to you would to be go on Green Dot prepaid card and read the reviews. Google it. Go on there and read the reviews. As you see, there are tons of complaints, and they're all in this month. Um, so allegedly, people having problems getting the money. They're not getting the money. So, if you have Green Dot pre cards, I suggest you check out your accounts before you add more money into it. 
because as of March, they seem to be having a big problem. I think you should look into it. If you don't have a green dot pre, if you don't have a green dot prepaid card, I would suggest, in my opinion, not to get it at this time, because it seems like they're going to some type of problems. So until this uh, problem is rectified, I would suggest. You go the old-fashioned way, get a money order, or just hold on to it until this problem is rectified. So, allegedly, Green Dot prepaid cards is having a big problem. And the reason why I know it, because someone sent me a video about a guy who's saying he cannot get his money, and he's having a fit. Anyway, I love your feedback on this. Let's get the story popping. Green Dot prepaid cards. Have you had any experience? Please share it in the comments below. And let's share what people have gone through and maybe you can help someone or maybe someone can help each other how to rectify the problem. Anyway, I love your feedback and I want to try to love you and thank you for watching. Kiss 3.